the accountable person is the individual who's ultimately answerable for the activity the decision while yes, the responsible yes. person is the individual who actually completed the task mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you can be responsible and accountable so accountability mm -hmm. accountability has that aspect of reflection on it mm -hmm. why accountability why is accountability important why should we care why should we care because you want to be an upright human being <laughs> do we need accountability <laughs> to be an upright yeah, human being? Yeah, you need accountability to be an upright human being, right? You okay. do need accountability to be an upright human being. How uh -huh. else would you live your life? Not How else good. would you deal with the world, deal with people around you? If every every time you say you're going to do something, you fail to do it. You know? Every time you make a promise, you break it. You know what's funny? You're basically describing yeah. human life. The yeah, average exactly. human life. We all lie, we all break our promises. Yeah. Yes, we all we we're not really accountable. Although the large majority of our lives, though, we're not accountable for our actions. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, yet, we're not. Yet, yet we know it's so important, right? Man, we know we, we know so many things are important, right? Like we know working out, we have minimum working out is good for you. But how many people choose to work out? You know, we know <laughs> getting enough sleep is good for you. How many people get enough sleep? So, it's hard. Mm. The things that we know that are really good for us, actually doing them, it can be hard. Mm. It can mm. be really hard and difficult. So in my life, uh, I've seen co-workers and just people in general around me who seem to always be able to make complaints, complaints without the consequence of what they, of how, no fear of consequence of how their complaints would be met, right? Mm. And the people who always had the nerve to make such complaints were the people who always seem to do everything right. People who are accountable, who are responsible, they do things by the book. Or rather, not even by the book, they just do things in a straight way. They don't cut corners. Mm. They don't have bullshit, you know? Mm. Now, this people, this person steps up to you and say, Hey, Jason, this thing you're doing. Let's say, you, let's say this person works for Dreams Extrash, right? Mm. And this person is your underling. And they come and raise a complaint with you. Mm. Now, if this is the kind of person who is accountable, you know they always do what they are, what they are meant to do. And plus more. When they make a complaint to you, you won't fight back with them. You will listen to them, right? Uh. But if there was someone who was not accountable, will a complaint from them even matter? I, I agree. Accountability builds credibility. Exactly. 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 I 100% um, so agree. I've met these people in my life who, like, they're very accountable. And they, when they bring up a complaint, everyone listens. Everyone listens. Yeah. Because we know you can trust this guy. His word is good. Whatever he's saying is based on actual experience, not just for talking out of his, his ass, right? Mm, mm. But the other people, when they make complaints, it sounds like they just they just want to complain. And no one takes them as seriously. No one takes them seriously, yeah. right? Because you know how their character. They don't mm. do their job right. Mm, mm, you know, mm. they cut corners. They're lazy. So when they make complaints, it's like, yes, don't listen to that guy. He's he's just being like he's just like that. He's just like that. Accountability is the is the hard thing to do, right? It's hard to be accountable. That's why people don't. Most people are not as accountable as they should be, right? Mm. It's like I told you last week that I've been waking up at five thirty every morning recently and going to the gym, right? Mm. And I haven't broken a single day. But I can tell you, every morning when that alarm goes off, I don't want to get up, right? Mm. Now I can because it's not about. It's just because it's hard. It's hard to get up at 5.30. Especially after not sleeping for a full seven hours, right? Because my daughter woke up a couple of times the night. And, uh, yep. Why would you want to wake up at 5.30? Who really? No, like, no if, one. In, no one. In the ideal world, you just want to sleep all day. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, here's the thing, right? Mm. It's not about me waking up. You know, listen, this is the thing. Like, even my wife told me, Oscar, just wake up at 8. Why are you waking up at 5.30? <laughs> And maybe maybe she's right. I don't know, but I keep imagining that if I keep doing this, I'm I'm putting some I'm adding some little suffering to my life today, so in the future I can gain something, right? Right. And what am I gaining? It's some level of discipline. 